many artists get labeled as messy and disorganized. Just kind of comes with this stigma that that's how artists are. I'm here to say it does not need to be that way. It's with the use of containers and other storage solutions. So let's take a look at those because I think as an artist, it is possible to contain all of the supplies that we have. As a multi-passionate artist, I have accumulated a lot of art supplies over the years. Finding a way to contain these supplies has been an ever-changing part of my studio. Let me explain why. My needs as an artist have changed. My studio space has changed. I have grown in my art practice. And from my early 20s until now, I just have more stuff. I have learned to get creative over the years with both traditional and non-traditional containers and storage solutions. So let's first talk about traditional and then I'll touch on some non-traditional storage solutions for my art space. Okay, so first let's talk about some traditional ways that we would house all of our different supplies. So we have um, different bowls and plastic containers and even wooden containers that you can buy pretty much anywhere um, and put your supplies in them. So for example, I could buy um, a ceramic bowl from any of those big box um, places like Walmart or Target or Michaels or any place like that and you can house some of your supplies in them. It contains them. It puts them in one place and these are all the same um, oil pastels. I actually made this bowl in college when I was taking ceramics so I still have it and um, so I'm using it within my studio. So you can use a bowl that you find at an antique store or um, you know, even Goodwill or something like that, you can use um, an older bowl to put um, put something inside. Plastic containers are very popular. Um, also, just for just for organizing inside of your drawers, um, you can use something like that. So I have all of my watercolor, my Cotman watercolor, um, housed in one of those. This wooden container um, does have these little handles on the side here, but I got this at the Dollar Tree. So you could go to the Dollar Tree and find some containers that work for you. The reason I picked up a few of these was again to put them inside the drawers. So I have these containers inside my drawers um, that are containing different um, like items um, for me. Um, Moving right along, um, you can also buy containers that have like a div dividing space inside. Um, that's very typical um, for an art studio so that you can separate those different things. And of course I use these for the pins that I'm selling on my Etsy shop um, so that they are housed in one location and I'm not scattering around trying to find them when I go to do my um, Etsy pr products and things. Um, I have these two jars that I picked up. I think I picked these up at Michael's. Um, they're the Heritage Glass brand. They come in different sizes. It could have been Hobby Lobby, to be honest with you. Um, I can't remember. I've had them for quite some time. But um, I like the different sizes that they offer. And you can house different things um, to keep them contained. This I keep on my main desk. And it has all of my different erasers. So I needed an eraser and um, I've got some plastic erasers in here, regular erasers as well. And I just keep that on my desk. And so um, I don't know about you, but it it's, I have lived through the experience of not being able to find an eraser. And so now I always know where one is. It's right here contained in this jar. Um, and it helps so much when I'm trying to find one quickly. Also, super traditional, but are glass jars. So glass jars and filling them with one thing that is in common. So these are all of my um, Marie's gouache color. And I have so many of them that they fit really nicely in this larger, um, this larger jar. 
um, and I know where they are. Um, if I pull a few out and I want to work with them, of course, you know, I know where they go when I'm done. Um, I have other, these are other kind of traditional um, containers that you can find. This one is from Archer and Olive, um, but I house all of my pins in here. Um, and again, I know where they are, but another very traditional kind of way that you can store um, items that are alike. And then this was actually a gift from my sister-in-law. Um, she made these for Christmas one year. Um, she spray painted them and then put the, the beads around the top and she gave them as a gift. And I have used this ever since in my art studio to house all of my palette knives. Um, and again, it goes back to, I know where my palette knives go. They go in this container. This is a jar that was, um, you know, had some DIY um, done to it and it makes it decorative and pretty and I can put it in my studio, but um, this isn't always in the same place, but these palette knives are always within this container, if that makes sense. So I can move the container around, but I always know where my palette knives are, which is great. And then I have um, a traditional ball um, jar, which, is very traditional. I mean, who doesn't have a ball jar? It seems like everybody does. This one is purple, which I love, but it has um, some of my, um, I would say the pe the colored pencils that I use the most are in here. Um, and I have another glass jar that has even more colored pencils, um, but this houses the ones that I use quite uh, frequently. Um, but just to say, hey, pick up a, a glass jar and it does wonders for your art supplies so these are some uh, very uh, traditional storage options now let's switch over to some non-traditional storage options so here are some of my non-traditional ways of storing or containing some of my supplies these are a little harder to show you, so I may need to move things around a little bit, um, but let's go ahead and start with this. So I've got um, a glass um, jar. Now, I had glass jars in the traditional. Um, anything that can hold something right um, is an obvious for um, for art supplies. I have these, my, I have my Micron pins in here and one of my fountain pins in this owl um, glass jar. This was a set of glasses. So, so this was a set of glasses that you could use to set your table um, in the fall. And I just bought one because I thought it would be great to use in my art studio um, to house some of my um, supplies. Now, I didn't know at the time that I bought it that I was gonna put my Micron pins in there, but that's what I have done. Um, but I, um, really like the owl and the aesthetic and the color and all of that kind of thing. So if you do see a set of glasses or glassware that you like, um, it's, it's traditional in that it holds things, right? But it's non-traditional in that this was, uh, its purpose was to be a glass, um, at a, a table setting and I've used it in my art studio. Um, also can find things like that at like an antique shop or anything like that as well. You don't necessarily have to um, buy it from any store, but if you, um, but if you do see it even like at a garage sale or something like that, maybe it's just one of a set or something and you can use that in your studio in a creative way. Um, I'm going to move a couple of things so that I can get to this next one. This is an old antique drawer, and I'll show you uh, a close-up clip of that. Um, but I have my pins in here, so I have some more of my Archer and Olive um, markers, um, some of my gel pens. Um, these are my distressed crayons, and then I have got um, a bunch of my uh, Posca pins um, here at this end. Um, along with a, just a couple of other um, paint um, markers and things. So it has three containers inside of this old antique 
um, drawer and um, I just love that. I, I really like the, the antique look of um, these different containers, the way that that looks. Speaking of old antique um, containers, this is an old drawer from a dresser, an old dresser drawer. And I'll show you a, another close up of that as well. Um, but this is really great for housing. I mean, pretty much anything. You could put, um, I have these longer paint brushes. You could put, you know, the longer paint brushes would fit in there nicely. If you had um, a bunch of those, you could put books, um, you know, stack books. And there's all kinds of things that you could do with these drawers. Um, but I... Uh, put all of my Liquitec inks in here. And then on the other side, I have my um, Dr. Phil Martin's um, watercolors on one side. So I have inks on one side, watercolors on the other. And then I've just put a couple of these clips up here, um, but they house them here. And then if I'm gonna work on a project, then I will take it over to my desk and work on that particular project. Um, so I like to know where they all are. I think it looks kind of cool too. <clears throat> this, this next one I found at um, an antique shop and it is an old school um, index card or recipe card box. Um, and I have put my stamps in there. So I have a couple of um, distressed oxides in here and um, some other tools and stamps inside, but it just houses everything. I know where they are, I can get to it easily, and they're all contained within this container. So you can use um, old office supplies or office supplies um, that you wouldn't, you would, like they have another purpose, um, but you're using them to house um, your art supplies instead of office supplies. The next one I wanna show you is this set right here. And I'll show a close-up of it as well. But this houses all of my um, paint brushes that I use for a lot of my acrylic painting. Um, everything from like my toothbrush. I have all my little brushes in this one. Actually, this is typically like all my little brushes, all my bigger brushes, my medium-sized brushes. Um all go there. I say that this is a non-traditional and that this was again a product for something else. So it is for silverware. It's for when you have all your friends over and you're going to um, have your, you know, your spoons, your knives and, you know, whatever utensils that you're going to have. And it even has the labels on there. I have not put paint brushes. Um, I probably, I probably should put paintbrushes on there or something or design them some way, but I just haven't yet. Um, but this works great for me because I know where all of my brushes are. If I do work with my acrylics and I like to keep my brushes separate. So for example, I'll show you this container here is, um, it's a lantern. So you can put a candle in there um, and the light will go through all of the little holes there. Um, and this has all of my watercolor uh, brushes in it. So again, um, it is non-traditional because it was made for something else. It had um, a different purpose, but I have used it in my studio to hold some of my art supplies. Okay, so the last the last thing I wanna talk about is getting creative with your containers. If I haven't done that already with these non-traditional items, <laughs> here are some more. I'm gonna show you a couple of creative um, containers that you can use within your art studio. This one, a friend of mine made this um, ceramic piece and I use it to hold some Paint brushes, I have a palette knife here, I have a ruler. Um, it kind of has a little bit of odds and ends in it. Um, but I say this is a creative piece because 
it is a work of art all on its own. And so you can use pieces in your art studio that are art themselves. And those are really great pieces to use within your studio space. This is one that I obviously couldn't put on my desk. So I'm bringing you down here to my shelves that I have. This is to house hardware. Traditionally, like if you had nuts and bolts and things like that for your garage, um, but I put my stickers in it. So I've seen other um, people do this. And so that's where I got the idea. So this isn't an original idea. Um, but they house all of my stickers, but they are traditionally made for, um, like if you had nails or screws or, um, different things like that for your, for like a workshop, right? Um, so I use that for my stickers and it works out pretty great. Another creative storage solution is using these drawers that are typically for jewelry. So they're drawers that have like this black felt lining down at the bottom that you can put all of your jewelry in. Um, however, I use mine to put um, my stickers that I have made. So they lay flat. Um, I can put my stickers in there. I could get super organized if I wanted to and have, you know, different stickers for different seasons or something like that. Um, this uh, unit here stacked on top of these two down here. Um, and again, I have um, some of my stickers in there. And I love too that they pull out so I could take them up to my desk if I was working on something um, and then, you know, put them, put them back where they belong. So again, the, the purpose of these is to put your jewelry, but I've used them in my art studio to, um, to organize my stickers. So again, it's just using things kind of out of the box, um, thinking beyond their original purpose and using them in your studio to help organize. Um, I can move over here. I have this jar. It says odds and ends, and I have put all of my Christmas ribbon in it. So again, it's a traditional container in that it contains things, right? Um, but I've used it for all of my Christmas ribbon. So I know where they are at all times and I do keep them out all year round. <laughs> Yes, because I just love the way it looks. So we were talking about jars and containers that house different things. And I have this container that says tools on it um, that was traditionally for um, kitchen tools, right? But instead of kitchen tools, I have some of my bigger, bulkier items in here. Um, but my bigger, bulkier rulers that don't necessarily fit in some place. I've got my mallet here for when I am making um, my book binding and things like that. So these are just kind of some bigger items that I have and I keep them over here on my desk, my work desk, um, so that I have these tools handy. So if you ever find anything that like says, you know, tools or you know, something clever, I guess, and you can add it to, they're definitely tools, right? Definitely I'm going to use them, but it was made to be in a kitchen and not an art studio. So the overarching theme here is that by using creative storage solutions for your art supplies, you can really set yourself up for success. The more organized you are by putting like items in different containers, you always know where their home is and you always know where they are when you need to get to work on your art pieces. Isn't it great that you can be creative with your containers? If you loved that, join me in this next video where I am going to share with you how I do a deep clean once a quarter in my studio.